Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a tag for you guys. I was tagged by Elizabeth from Elizabeth B. Christensen and I'm gonna show you guys my answers to it. Did I tell you the name of the tag already? I don't know. This is the Blush is Bay tag. Thanks Elizabeth for tagging me and I know I've got another one that I still have to do that you tag me in. Um, but I'm gonna start here and the next one will come soon-ish as well. So I've got a questions right next to me so I'm gonna take a look and we're gonna go through them. So the first one is cream or powder blush and that one is really easy for me, powder all the way. I've had a couple of cream blushes, I've used one up in one of my projects and I do not like it. Um, it's too much hassle, it is not easy to apply, it takes too long, um, they go bad way more easily so no no cream blushes for me anymore. I'm not buying any any more, not anytime soon and hopefully also not in the future. I definitely like my powder blushes more. The next question, the weirdest color blush in your collection? Now I'd say weird is probably relative in a way because what is weird for me and my skin tone might not be weird for somebody else. I don't have any like green or blue blushes in my collection so I'd say for my skin tone the weirdest thing that I bought was this blush from W7 which is in Tawny Glow. Um, it's just a really really dark color which is like almost red or something and it just doesn't really work for me so this is it's not really weird but for me it was kind of weird that i decided to buy this but i bought it online when i was buying way too much stuff online when i was a little bit younger still and i shouldn't have then next question is do you prefer high-end or drugstore brand blushes um, I have to say it kind of depends, like some blushes are really nice and drugstores do really really nice blushes so it's not like I feel like I have to go high-end to get a good blush but at the same time high-end blushes can be pretty nice as well. So I don't really have one that I'd go for specifically but I guess drugstore just because there are really good things you can find there and they're a little bit cheaper so if I'd have to choose I might go drugstore maybe I don't know <laughs> then next my most expensive blush I had to think about this and I'm not 100% sure because I haven't bought one in a little while so I don't know how much all of them cost anymore but I think this MAC beauty powder which I'm using as a blush um, will have probably been one of the more expensive ones so this is in alpha girl and it is from a limited edition that had like little flowers embossed in it. It still does but I'm not really sure whether the camera will pick up on that. Um, I do really like this one. It's a really really light because it is a beauty powder. It doesn't show up as much um, but I think that works pretty well on my skin tone just because I have a pretty light skin so on me this is still a really nice blush. And then my most inexpensive blush. Also here I had to do some research because I wasn't too sure but I think that the cheapest blushes that I have because I bought three of them all at once probably because they were so cheap anyway are my e.l.f. Uh, mineral blushes. I've got three of them. Um, I've got one in coral, I've got one in rose and I've got one in joy and yeah, I think they were only like three dollars. I bought them online somewhere. Um, yeah, pretty cheap, but they're nice. So, next question. My favorite blush single. This one was pretty hard for me as well because I like so many of my blushes that it was hard to pick just one. But at the moment, like when I'm currently gravitating towards a little bit more and of course that is because it is one that I'm trying to pen this year but I really really like it um, is the blush that is in my Panda palette palette and it is the La Vie en Rose blush from Too Faced um, I really really like it because it is pink but it has a little bit of gold shimmer in it and I've realized that pink blushes might suit me a little bit better even though I like 
the peachy colors more um, but this is a really good combination because it has the pink but it also have the has the warmth from like the, the golden sheen in it so it's the perfect combination and it's nice and subtle I can apply it very very easily to my cheeks I'm trying to show you but I'm not actually wearing it today um, so yeah at the moment that is my favorite blush then the next question is your fa your favorite blush palette and that was pretty easy for me. Um, I didn't have to think about this mainly because I only have one blush palette and that is this one from Sleek in Lace. It's got three blushes in it and they are really bright most of them. This one is more of like an orgasm tube um, so this one is in Gooey Pure and then I've got Crochet and Chantilly um, these two are pretty bright. I have to be really really careful when I'm using them, but I actually like this color quite a bit as well um, Yeah, so this is my favorite blush palette Then the next question asks me which the oldest blush in my collection is and I'm not 100% sure about that one either um, but I think it might be This one from Catrice just because it's from their kind of main collection. It's in peach sorbet, so I definitely used, uh, bought this one quite a while ago and it is not from a limited edition or anything so I'm fairly certain that this is my oldest or at least one of my oldest blushes and this is just a kind of peachy color, nothing special, it doesn't even show up on my hand that well when I try to make a swatch I see. But yeah, I think this might be it, I'm not sure though. Um, then the newest blush in my collection, also this one I had to think about because I just haven't bought many blushes lately. I think it might be this limited edition from the Body Shop, um, which is in Berry. I bought this somewhere during fall a couple of years ago. Yes, a couple of years ago. I really haven't bought a lot of blush lately because I have too many. Um, love this one mainly because of the packaging but it is a really nice color as well when you take all of them together it becomes a little bit of like a well i guess berry color um which i like a lot during kind of fall time because it's a little bit darker but it still works really really well for my skin if i'm careful that is um next one is what is your party blush and i think my party blush would be this one from Sleek in Rose Cold, just because it is really nice, shimmery, and um, I've definitely used it a lot as well. Um, yeah, I like this one because it has like the peachiness in it, and I just really like the peachy um, yeah, tint in a blush. So this one would be my pretty blush. And that is what that one looks like. The next question is the brands that I have four or more blushes from and I think that would be two different brands. Um, Catrice I've got four of, I've got the one that I just showed you, I've got a bright pink one and a flowery, two different colors, peachy and pinky, and this one. And then Sleek in a way I've got more than four as well, but one of us says is that palette so I've got three in here and then I've got this one another bright orange and the one that I just showed you in um, rose gold yes next any blush buying regrets well I guess that was somewhat clear already I think I shouldn't have bought this W7 blush it is too dark i can make it work though because it is not too pigmented and it's fairly cheap so there there was no point in me buying this but i bought it because it was cheap of course um any blush you purchased because of another youtuber well i think this sleek blush in rose gold was extremely hyped at some point so i definitely bought this because of other youtubers and bloggers and those type of things um Apart from that, I don't think I bought specific blushes because of YouTubers and trying to go through my collection. Um, of course, I bought MAC because I saw a lot of MAC on blogs and YouTube and those type of things. But no, I think that one specifically I bought because I saw it on YouTube, but the other ones, not as much. Is there a blush from a brand that you haven't tried yet um, that's on your wish list? 
not really because I'm pretty good at the moment with not really buying anything but Elizabeth mentioned the, the balm blush, one of the, the balm blushes in her video and I definitely want to buy um, at least one blush from, blush from them because I haven't really tried them yet and people seem to be pretty excited and positive about them so not a specific one but that brand I would like to try and then lastly my favorite blush brush I need to go and grab that I only have one so that is fairly easy as well this is the blush brush from um, Real Techniques and I like this one especially with my light skin um, because it is a little bit less dense so it doesn't pick up too much of the product but that works really well for my skin and it is just the right size for me as well I can just put on my blush quite nicely without having like just a little stripe of blush on or without having it all over my cheek or whatever it's the perfect size for me and the perfect denseness as well especially with those pretty interesting colors and the pigmentation of the, the sleek blushes for example so yes those were the 15 questions of this tag um, thank you very much if you decided to follow along and see the answers to my questions definitely let me know what your answers would be if there's anything in particular that you find interesting about my um, comments or my answers here and if you want to do this tag go ahead and do it because I'm not really sure who hasn't done this tag yet I might tag people down below if I think of anyone and that is it for now thank you guys very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye bye